Hello, this is Corey. I wanted to talk a little bit about the CIP, the Customer Involvement Program in Softimage, and I thought I'd give people a step through on how to enable that and uh, why enabling that helps us to make some good product decisions on what we're doing with Softimage. And this, of course, applies to any of the other Autodesk products that you may be working with as well. So in Softimage or any of the other products, you can go to Help and Autodesk Customer Involvement Program. When you pop that open, you'll get this dialog on, on Windows and Softimage, and you get the choice whether you'd like to participate, yes or no. So this, this is an opt-in program. It's, it's your choice as to whether you want to do it or not. Uh, I would like people to turn this on where they can so that we can get more information on how you're using Softimage and we'll use that to uh, guide some of the decisions that we're making with the product planning. Now if you want to see what kind of things we do with CIP, you can hit the Preview My CIP data button here. That'll pop open your web browser and show you some of the stuff that we have going on here. I've got a few of these tabs open already. First thing you can see is we've, we're capturing general system information. So what you have in terms of memory, what is the screen resolution, you can see most people are sort of clustered in here uh, around this region. We've got some outliers here with uh, very high res uh, monitors and we still have some people with uh, lower systems. Let me get that one to pop up. 800 by 600 is what that is. So we can go down to here and see video RAM as well as operating system information and again we see things like Windows 7 is the primary operating system. You can also go through here and see the worldwide user participation. I've already got that map popped open so you can pop over any country and see how many people are participating in each country which I think is kind of interesting. You can also go from uh, here and click the Learn More tab, and what you'll see is things like what uh, what you can do with it, the overview and the sample reports. So let's let's look at the overview here. Uh, I talked to you about the uh, hardware configuration part right here. A couple other interesting things we can look at is hours the product is in use, and this gives us information in terms of uptime and is the product stable? Is it uh, working consistently, or is it is it crashing more often? This works with the cus the customer error reports. When you crash a product, you can get a dialog to send in the stack trace and help us debug the the uh, crash that you're ha having. Uh, in terms of some sample reports, we have some on the page as well. And what you can see are things like the common commands that people have used in some of the products here. So if we look at what happens with AutoCAD, you can see where uh, what commands are getting used the most and what's getting used less. We're also looking at here what commands are getting used in conjunction with each other so that we can make decisions in terms of uh, how the UI is laid out and where we should put efforts on performance tuning of commands and uh, other things like that. Also we can look at uh, which commands are most possible popular so we know which areas uh, people are using more. When there's an area people are using less, we can start to dig into that and see is that because this tool is obsolete or it's not useful to people and we need to tweak it to, to get better information or better, better access for them. We can also look at some interesting things. This is one that uh, I'd say is not really something we would consider with Softimage, but when we look at a product like AutoCAD, which has been around uh, for many, many years, uh, you can see we get this interesting usage of uh, user input devices. There's a lot of people who just use the keyboard, and that goes way back to the, the first history of the product. Um, when you compare that to some of the similar products like Inventor and Revit, you can see that they're much more uh, mouse-based. So we, we can dig into various areas of usage and get some good information on, on what to do with the product. So if you can help us out and turn this on, this will help us make 
better decisions with what we're doing with self-demolish. If you have questions, uh, please feel free to let me know.